Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are working more on my rural Japanese island. As we get started, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. It really does help me out. So if you've been following me for a little bit now, you know we've been working on this island for a few days. I've actually restarted it several times just to kind of figure out what vibe I want to go for. This is now my third reset, mostly because I wanted to make sure I had space for this particular clear build that you're going to see today as it does take up a lot of space. Now a lot of my followers have been asking me on how to reduce lag on city core islands and today's build is actually a great example of that. As you can see already starting into this video we are going to be using a crud ton and I seriously mean a crud ton of waterscape. It is a lot of waterscape to get this perspective going but it'll definitely be worth it in the end so I hope you stick around and today's video gives you a ton of inspiration for your island. We will also be building a city like structured area for some fishing houses and we're also going to be blending this into the perspective. I've had a lot of you asking on how to blend out these perspectives so this video will also cover that information as well. The build that we're actually going to be doing later on in the video is inspired by one of my recent Instagram posts. I basically tore this build down but I posted a picture of it on Instagram and I was planning on rebuilding this anyways. I just needed to have a different location for it so I thought you Using this to blend out the perspective was a great idea in usage for that build. Again, I'm not sure what my plan is for this island. I'm just going with the flow and winging it as usual and hoping for the best. If you're a new follower, that's basically how my routine is. All of my builds are completely pulled out of thin air and then I just hope for the best, which also explains if you are wondering why I restart constantly and tear things down a lot, that is a major reason why because I'm always randomly placing my builds and hoping that the layout ends up working out and some Sometimes that doesn't always happen. So already on the first part of the video, we are working on the first main perspective of this build, which is just some simple landscape in the distance. There is no set way to do this. It's just layering a bunch of bushes and trees until you like the overall look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do several transitions as we progress this because just layering with the bushes itself took me an hour to do. And obviously y'all don't wanna see me place one bush and one tree at a time for an hour. So let's go ahead and transition to once the second level starts to get decorated. Also over by the first windmill we ended up placing two wishing wells and then we also placed a pagoda behind those so in case you didn't know what those items were that's why I placed over there since we transitioned to it and here is now the first part of our perspective done so now I'm gonna go ahead and place these boats to make it look like they're sitting on the waterscape and if you're not sure how to do this illusion I'm gonna link a helpful video that I did previously in the video's description of how to accomplish this since I've already done it now a few times on my channel I'm just gonna go transition to get them placed for us so we can progress on the next part of the build I wanted to go ahead and add that information in case you're someone new to my channel and you want to know how to achieve this look this is definitely one of my favorite 2.0 styles lately I just love that it feels very realistic honestly still wish till this day that Nintendo gave us a water decorating update or just more freedom in decorating in general like happy home paradise has but this is as good as it's gonna get until we hopefully see more improvements on the next Animal Crossing game so in front of our waterscape I'm just doing a really overgrown looked area and then I may be removing some of the barbed wire fence to transition into a little dock and then that's just gonna have be how I finish this little spot right here I'm not sure what I'm doing right across from this build yet again I just wing my builds so something I am considering is maybe I'll do some villager homes in front of this or it'll transition into some sort of a overlook to some more boats I'm again not sure what my plan is so if you have any ideas definitely leave them in the comment section I'm also wanting to quickly add into this video that all the codes that I'm using will be found in the video's descriptions always. So if you are somebody wanting to recreate this on your island, you can always count on me putting the codes in there. Also, I'm wanting to say too that there is going to be quite a bit of transitions throughout this video, more than usual, mostly because this build took me several hours to do. But I wanted to make sure we had a pretty good video posted for today since I haven't been posting as frequently lately just because life has been super busy. So hopefully all this content in today 
today's video helps you out on your island, especially if you're doing a similar theme to me, or maybe you're wanting to add some sort of a coastal area on your island and you just need some inspiration for it. Also wanting to add, if you're doing a tropical theme, a great way to make this work for that sort of island is just to swap out these cedar trees for palm trees and obviously swap out some of the codes and decorations that I'm using, but I feel like this would be such a great build, especially if you're doing something around a Hawaii aesthetic. This would be such a great build for that. So a lot of my builds that we do on my channel are not always limited to the theme that I'm building. So definitely keep that in mind, especially if you're somebody struggling with filling in awkward areas or just need some inspiration to play again. So as we transition to the next part of the build, I want to quickly add that I swapped out the iron fence for safety railing. I just think this looked a lot better, not to mention I was able to blend in the curved street light later on with the safety railing. That's been my favorite item since 2.0 came out. So if you're following this, that's what I ended up swapping it to. You don't have to also use the black color that I chose. You can definitely choose any sort of color you need to suit your island theme best. But I thought that the black shade would suit the vibe that I'm going for a lot better. So now we're gonna be starting on our rustic fishing houses. And I just wanna quickly add that I thought I was recording most of this build to only find out that I don't know where it went, but half of the footage in the middle of this build disappeared. No idea where it went, but I'll make sure to do a very slow walkthrough of this at the end of the video. I'm super sorry about that. What I like about this build though is it's very out of my comfort zone. Most of my builds I go for very realistic, very clean looking, and this build is a lot more more rustic and broken up than what I usually do. I really enjoyed these builds though because I feel like it suits the rural Japanese harbor town perfectly. This build also, in my opinion, is very simple to do and great for beginners. So hopefully this gives you some inspiration if you're going for more of a rustic vibe and you're just going for a rural Japanese theme in general. I'm also wanting to quickly add that this whole entire build was inspired by acnh.pickleton on Instagram. So make sure you go check them out in the video's description. The doc code is also by Colin Crossing on Instagram. This is one of his older codes from his fall MA, and I just really love this dot code because it's super realistic. There's actually more parts to it, but because I'm so limited on design slot space, I couldn't use all of them. But if you do have the space, I definitely recommend it if you're doing a coastal theme. It's just incredibly detailed and realistic. Also, I want to add that I'm pretty confident I can get this island done this week. So with that being said, let me know in the comment section the next theme you hope to see me do or just theme ideas in general. I'm definitely going to be taking a break from Japanese themes just because I don't want to get burnt out on it, but I know many of you were wanting me to do something around a coastal theme and just a more rural approach in general, so that's why I wanted to focus on this island and get it done quickly for you, but I have no idea what my plan is next. I did consider doing a Hawaii theme with a lot of natural aspects to it, so if you're one of my tropical followers, let me know if that is something you'd be interested in seeing. Basically, I was thinking like a lot of Lilo and Stitch vibes, especially since we're approaching summer I felt like that would be a really great theme to do but if you have any other ideas definitely drop them in the comments anyways here is the finished product I hope that this build brings you a ton of inspiration for your island as I mentioned earlier in the video I ended up restarting for a third time on this theme but now I feel ready to tackle it and I'm pretty confident again I can get it done during this week I'm gonna be recreating actually the previous videos onto this island still. They're just gonna be in different locations. So if you wanna see how those look in person, those will definitely be added, just like how I re-added that Instagram post into today's build. With that being said, I hope today's video brought you a ton of inspiration for your island. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next video. Have a horrible day.